Hello, I am Alexander Quinn, and we are Starseed Navigating the Light. Today, yes, all right, we're going. All right, darling, all right, calm down. All right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I am Alexander Quinn, Starseed Navigating the Light, and today, this is the fifth dimension. Here we go. Hello and welcome back. Hopefully you've just been watching the series of the dimensionality. Um, we just had the fourth and now we're on to the fifth. On this video, I really want you to take a deep breath and let go of everything you're going through in your life. We're about to hit fifth dimensionality and that is a place of really interesting stuff. This is where you can start manifesting things really quite quickly and there's an incredible energy an energy of unconditional love. And I just want you to really space out and enjoy it. So let's get straight to it. I love you all. And uh, here we go. On a very quick note, please give the video a fifth dimensional like and uh, subscribe. Hit the bell button so you get all the latest videos. Love you. Thank you, Alexander Quinn, for the wonderful introduction. My name is Alice. I will take over from here. Here we go. This is a place of wonder where beings like the Pleiadians and Andromedans dwell. It is a place of pure and etheric light where very little fear exists at all. All life upon the fifth dimension lives in the unity consciousness of spirit, but there is still an experience of I as an individual member of the group. Linear time and space do not bind consciousness here, and there is no illusion of separation or limitation. Instead, there is a constant experience of the oneness of God, all that is. Judgment, guilt, or negativity towards self and others are drowned out by forgiveness, acceptance, positivity and love which is the key component to fifth dimensional awareness. Love for self and others. Perceptions within this state can seem more dreamlike although still being physical. All around the world there are often UFO sightings and many of them differ greatly. It has been argued that the U.S. industrial military complex has had reverse CT technology since 1947 including anti-gravity craft which sometimes can be recognized by its triangular or cigar-shaped appearance in the sky. There is a great debate on which UFOs are real. If there are both man-made craft and extraterrestrial in the sky, how do you tell them apart? Man-made craft often have metallic or moving parts that can be seen and to some degree look very advanced but still seem to have a physicality to them that seems solid. Fifth dimensional craft appears more like an ethereal ball of light in the sky materializing and non-materializing at will. There are seemingly no moving parts. The sheer size of them can be astronomical ranging from 1 to 20 miles across. These are five dimensional qualities. The fifth dimension is a place where dreams and thoughts manifest very quickly and the vibration is extremely high. It is the realm of pure, unconditional love where consciousness can affect matter and physics in ways that humans aren't able to fully conceptualize. Imagine being in a craft floating in space and moving the ship with just your mind. This is a place where DNA and hidden strands become activated. For example the Pleiadians DNA which works at 70 to 80 percent. It is at this resonance that beings begin to really get closer to pure light and source, God energy. There is little duality in this vibration and darkness or ego driven mentalities do not live in this space, time works in an entirely different way within the fifth dimension. Beings in this density are able to experience many timelines and different aspects of themselves all at once. The past, present and future are all in the now and accessible. Imagine a human who is very in tune with ETs and is able to channel their energy and let the beings or being communicate through them. It is quite possible that during the channel the entity speaking to them might be 300 Earth years in the future whilst speaking to the human in the time that is our now. Time does not affect 5D dimensionality. This is why sometimes beings from the fifth dimension need a little more effort in order to communicate with us during our ascension as they have to find our now from wherever they are consciously in time. From the human perspective it can be experienced in the state of deep trance or when the soul molecule, 
DMT, is smoked through a pipe. It sends the user into a conscious state that pushes perception into higher vibrational states often known as a breakthrough where time begins to bend and perceptions are far beyond our daily perception. Users have expressed extreme time loss describing the experience as having taken many minutes or hours when in fact they have been under the influence only 60 seconds. Others have discussed witnessing the incredible foresight that they beheld spiritually regard sacred geometry and viewing objects as not real but made up of god particles and geometric etheric shapes. This has flowed over into other visual depictions in modern and historical times such as various mandalas and the rose of life, a geometric circular pattern. We also see sacred geometry produced here on earth directly by 5D beings known as crop circles. The intricacy of these designs has sparked much revelation into their meaning and manifestation. The vibration at which beings live in this plane is much lighter and as a result have different biologies and cellular structures that are less dense and more crystalline. Illness, pain and fatigue are quenched by wellness, radiance, and feelings of being energetic. In this space the higher self is far more integrated within the soul and there is no veil or barrier. The soul is operating as one giving cosmic intuition. This cannot be done in 3D bodies as they are very dense carbon-based vehicles which would likely end up being destroyed on a cellular level due to the very high vibration. In fifth density the soul is very connected to the energies of the universe and there is a complete trust in the flow of energies and the soul's journey at this point. There is no ego controlling outcomes or demanding answers. What will be will be and there is unconditional trust that everything that is needed will manifest along the journey. Thoughts and actions are based first in love and not fear, beings are at one with each other and telepathy begins to take over as there is a calmness and quietness in the mind. Group consciousness is more prevalent and beings are all connected with little space for deceit or lying. A lifetime in this energy encompasses clarity, transparency, and infinite expressionism. A place where all beings find their true path in life and there is joy and happiness becoming aware of who you are, your eternal soul and your past lives. The heart is a place where all thoughts originate first instead of the head and all the chakras in the body are perfectly lined. Telepathy with beings in places many light years away is achievable as the very cellular structure and consciousness is interconnected within the soup of the universe breaking down distance and time. Often when people in 3D become ill it is because they have too many toxins or because the cellular structure is not working correctly as a person's frequency is very low or depleted. 5D cellular reproduction is far slower and economical with lives in this energy that are far longer and healthier. Disease and cancerous cells are no energetic match for the high frequencies of this space and therefore die or fail to create at all. Some cancer patients who have made miraculous spontaneous remissions have claimed that they had spiritual moments or felt total connectedness around the time they were healed. Being in a pocket of pure 5D energy can do this. The feminine and masculine energies have become greatly more aligned. And beings from this place can appear completely androgynous or unified in sexual appearance. Sexual appetite changes also and beings can experience combining energies together without physicality if they wish which is very euphoric. Sex is a part of sharing and not a desire or lust. Beings can harmonize and bring in the highest souls to reproduce using their consciousness only if they choose. Once ascension is reached it begins with 5D conciseness. Beings in 5D have far higher IQs and can think in high conceptual terms often computing many things at the same time like a computer. Language takes on new forms such as 3D holographic shapes that can portray many times more than a simple linear word on a page can. Beings living in this space can find it hard to enter back into 3D consciousness without issues or help. Perhaps Ron Howard the director knew this when he filmed his masterpiece Cocoon where Earth people are taken to a fifth dimensional reality and are warned not to come back or suffer illness. 5D beings live in the light and attract little or no darkness of any kind. Their light is so anchored into their physical and etheric being that dark simply cannot live in its presence. 
as we have discussed before, you turn on a bright light in a room and the darkness vanishes. Being in this vibration is to operate within different harmonics, electromagnetic fields and frequencies which are often not seen by lower dimensional beings who cannot experience or see past their own visual light spectrum. This is how angels or some ETs for example operate. They are seen if they choose to be seen by us. Thoughts are very carefully processed at this level and there is discipline of mental projection as thoughts manifest very quickly. Winner takes all mentality vanishes and competition and status dissolve into greater good for all and not the self. There is a plentiful supply of abundance, sharing and gratitude. This is the beginning of the God plane, the heaven existence or heaven on earth where true enlightenment is first reached. It was believed that Jesus was a fifth dimensional or higher being. To get a further understanding of beings from this dimension is to understand how they view us. They know that we are them in the past. We are the new civilization growing up. They look upon us as children that they love. When they see us hurting each other and creating drama they are non-judgmental and they see us going through the growing pains of puberty of leaving junior school like a human parent would. They appreciate that we are all in the soup of the universe and linked one way or another. If you were to encounter a high vibrational being or witness a channeled message that doesn't promote love for the ascending human or is very judgmental then raise your caution as to who is really speaking the message and where it is coming from. 5D beings do not behave this way. In the same vein, Increasingly governments have planned for years fake invasions of ETs and done their best to either disprove them or tell us they are evil or dangerous often through the guise of Hollywood. If these very evolved civilizations were evil they would have completely destroyed us already. The new beings helping unearth the darkness on earth at this time mostly are 5D plus beings. Diet in the fifth is drastically different. Eating low vibrational foods such as meat or animal products that still carry the animal's fear signature upon slaughter are completely redundant. Plant and fruit based foods on the whole are the preferred diet and the fifth density body carries little or no toxins such as animal proteins, GMOs, heavy metals even at trace level, nicotine, alcohol, and other chemicals that humans pepper themselves with via cleaning products or aerosols that we spray daily under armpit. There have been a great deal of encounters of humans with ETs and angelic beings over the years. People who have come into contact with these beings have described such an incredible feeling of overwhelming unconditional love when either in their presence or having been touched directly. There are accounts of various people having near-death experiences whilst on the operating table and coming into contact with angels who wrapped their arms around them and explained that it is not their time to leave yet. Patients have come back from complex operations speaking of this indescribable unconditional love they felt that human words could not explain that had subsequently changed their lives. This is the fifth dimensional energy. Darkness cannot be sustained here. So that was a bit about the fifth dimension. It's a beautiful, um, beautiful place to play. Please leave your comments below. If you have any questions, by all means, do let me know. Next video, the sixth dimension. Here we go.